Well, hello, Kids Church. Hello, Church on the Green. Hello, Church Online. Hello, YouTube watchers and Facebook watchers. It is so good to see you all today. We are going to be talking about the miracle of when Jesus healed the paralytic man. So, here's the scene Jesus has gone to a house in Capernaum. It's actually pronounced Capernaum. <laughs> and he is teaching people and healing people. And there's a group of four friends and they have heard about all the amazing things that this guy Jesus is doing. So they go and find their paralytic friend. Paralytic basically means that he couldn't walk. They find their friend, they pick him up and they carry him to the house that Jesus is teaching in so that they can get their friend healed. Isn't that amazing? But when they arrive there, there are people everywhere. They are packed in so tight, they're like sardines. They definitely were not social distancing. Hey. <laughs> anyway, they knew that they had to get their friend to Jesus. So they thought of a new plan. They climbed up the side of the building. They got onto the roof. They dug a hole into the roof and they lowered their friend down from the roof right to the feet of Jesus. How unbelievable. In Mark 2 verse 5 it says, When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Son, your sins are forgiven. It made Jesus so happy to see the faith of that man's friends that he gave him the ultimate gift of forgiveness and also his healing as well. But it made the Pharisees super mad. They were like, ha ha! How can this man say that he forgives sins? <laughs> Who does he think he is? God? Well, the truth is that Jesus is God. So he did something that shushed them up good and proper. He reached out for the man's hand and he said, fella, get up and walk. Whoa. And he did. Amazing! This is such an amazing story. And my favourite part of this story is the fact that it was his friend's faith that caused him to be saved and ultimately healed. Their faith is what got him there at the feet of Jesus. And for us, it's our faith that God sees. We could be inviting people into the church. We could be telling them about the amazing things that God is doing. And he can do a miracle in their life through our faith that they're going to be saved. So. Here's your challenge. Think of someone this week, just one person who you can pray for every day. Pray that they meet with God, that they know about this amazing Father and what he's done for them. You can make them an invitation, invite them to Church on the Green, invite them to Boys Brigade, or send them a link to our YouTube channel. God sees you, he sees your faith, and he has something amazing and miraculous for your friends and for your family. We love you, Kids Church. We love having this time with you, and we'll see you again next time. Bye!